Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. Jim Harrison, the mayor of the city of Quinney West, uh, bringing you some updates as to what's happening in Quinney West what, and where we're headed. Uh, I, again, I want you to know that our offices, City Hall and Frankfurt, are open to the public and open for business online, telephone, whatever way works for you. Quinney West Public Library at City Hall and in Frankfurt are being closed until step two, Ontario's roadmap to reopening. That's not here yet, but uh, certainly offering and completely all complete services online or pick up materials, whatever works, it's great. Vaccine updates, uh, 110,000 individuals first dosed, uh, 30,000 with the second dose in this area. So if you're in uh, either one of those categories, please get yourself vaccinated, get those two. We uh, we would very much like to, uh, to say that, well, you know, we're all vaccinated in this area. I know that won't happen, but uh, right now I think we're at 70 plus percent of the people at least have one vaccine. There are many clinics scheduled uh, at the Duncan throughout July and August, so be sure to, to get your vaccine as well as pharmacies, as well as many other locations. Just go on the health website and find them. Find one that works for you. Gypsy Moth staff update, that's uh, certainly been very devastating for many of us and uh, our trees are the, paying the price. Uh, Yes, it's uh, it's a tragedy. It's hard to hard to realize that this could happen so fast. We were never ever made aware of the situation being as devastating as it has become. So right now we're looking at likely hiring a consultant to look at the the, the defoliation that's happened and then uh, get some information gathered up and uh, make sure that we've got everybody covered as best we can and. Uh, then we've got to look at well, how we're going to try to deal with this. And of course, one is spraying, but I'm not sure spraying is the answer, but that's one. There are many other things as well. Uh, we'll be talking with the province, uh, the provincial government, the federal government, and at the Association of, of Municipalities of Ontario in August, we will certainly present our flight to, them, and to the best of our ability. Uh, we want to make sure that uh, you know, trees are worth millions and millions of dollars. Uh, Mark Cullen worked on a project planting the trees along the Highway of Heroes from from Eight Wing Trenton, is where we planted the first tree, to the last one at the Parliament Buildings in Ottawa. That's a $10 million project, and we supported it. We all supported it, many individuals, many cities, and so on. So that just shows you just how much we think of trees and, and the value of them to all of us and to our our livelihood, and to, to clean air, and to birds, and, and the bees, and so on. Every trees are not even indicating or, or letting on how valuable they are in the in the building industry. So, yes, we got to do what we have to do, to, and we got to convince the governments uh, that they need to support and stick with us. Um, we also have a proclamation uh, June 2021 as National Indigenous, Indigenous History Month. And June 21st is National Indigenous, Indigenous Peoples Day. And there's more to come, but that's where we're at right now. Uh, keep, keep yourself mindful of First Nations community. On July the 1st, we'll be holding a call for a minute of silence at 2.15 to acknowledge the 215 children discovered in the mass graves at Kamloops BC Residential School in BC. And July the 1st, as you reflect on what it means to you to be a part of the country, part of the country, we invite you to create memorable moments in your home or with your family and uh, honor the beautiful outdoors that this country has. So city West staff, businesses and organizations have put together a wide selection of things for our residents to enjoy beginning July the 1st. And there's, there are a number of activities that will take place. Uh, we have to make sure we're within the provincial guidelines, whatever we do. So that means we can't do anything to encourage crowds. Grab your copy of the Quinney West Eats and Treats map and uh, and use the food, find where the food trucks, trucks are, then the ice cream places and visit them and enjoy that. And grab your, uh, your food and find a great place to enjoy the sunshine. And celebrating Canada, an iconic, iconic Canadian treat at the Beaver Tail Food Truck 
in their pop-ups in, in Centennial Park, July the 1st to the 4th. That's something you could certainly. Canadian explorers and scavenger hunt, augmented reality. So launching on July the 1st and running until August 29th, join the Canadian explorers on a virtual scavenger hunt. Download the free Snapped Hub app to participate. This app will take families through a series of stops throughout Centennial Park using augmented reality to find the clues about an, un an endangered Canadian animal. People who guess right and enter will have an opportunity to win one of four cash prizes up to $150. Wow, that's good, eh? At the end of the summer. So you've got to be you got to be taking part in this in a long time. So again, the, the, the scavenger hunt for the family that you can do anytime on your own space, your own time, start your adventure at the Pavilion parking lot. Bubbles photo filter, that's another one, launching July the 1st and running until August 29th. Have fun this summer in your own bubbles, literally. Download, in your own bubbles, literally. Download the free Snap Hub app and open the Quinny West Bubbles event. This builder will give the, the appearance of bubbles floating in the air in photos and selfies. Users are encouraged to put their photos on Instagram using the hashtag number QW bubbles for chances to win. Uh, Quinny West celebration kits. Again, these are for children and uh, uh, you can uh, gather them or, or obtain them at Canada Day and decorate your homes uh, uh, and, and do what you can with them to recognize Canada. And this, of course, goes on from Monday, uh, June 28th through to Wednesday, June 30th at Quinny West City Hall. And uh, they are for children with a maximum per family of three bags. Uh, inside your bag, you find a gift card for a free kitty cone at one of the participating ice cream vendors use the coupon any time between July the 1st and July the 4th. So those are just a few of the activities, and there are more to come. So they're more available, uh, and they're all, you know, starting on Canada Day, and that's to you know certainly help you appreciate the country that we have and how important it is. Service Club Pudi offerings, in addition to the great food trucks and patios, you can. Enjoy in Canada Day. Support the Trenton's Lions Club with their drive-up pancake breakfast at the Centennial Park Amphitheater. And then visit them again for the drive-up barbecue and lunch. So that's great. And also the Frankfurt Lions Club has you covered for dinner with a drive through spaghetti dinner. Wow, interesting. Hey, great. And the Trenton's Lions Club, Centennial Park Amphitheater parking lot at 8 a.m. to 11 a.m. pancake breakfast. Uh, and a barbecue from 11 a.m. to 4 p.m. Frankfurt Lions Club is 3 to 7 p.m. spaghetti dinner at the Frankfurt Lions Club parking lot at 50 Center Street, Frankfurt. These will all be out in, in our paper for you. Canada Group Parade, Trenton Browning Rowing and Paddling Club. Sorry, Trenton Group Paddle, Trenton Rowing and Paddling Club. The Trenton Rowing and Paddling Club will be leading a group paddle on Canada Day from 10 a.m. to noon. Everyone with a love for our local waterway, welcome to join, but you free register and then of course you still have to have to appreciate all the rules. And then take is also one take a hike, get out and get active at any one of our conservation trails. And remember to stay on the trail, don't pick anything, keep your feet, your pet leashed and leave nothing but footprints. Uh, temporary sidewalk sales. The City of Queen West is temporarily allowing the sidewalk sales on city property to make it easier for businesses to serve customers safely outside during the three-step of the province's roadmap to safe recovery or safe reopen. Businesses wishing to display and sell merchandise on city sidewalks or boulevards in front of their businesses are permitted to do so with no associated fees. Front Street and Farmer's Market is open as well uh, from 8 a.m. to 1 p.m. Uh, every Wednesday and Saturday. And new to the market is Quinny West's own Wild Card Brewery. That's great. And West Quinny West pop-ups are open in Centennial Park seven days a week from 11 a.m. to 7 p.m. So be sure to stop by 
and shop local and support our local businesses. And that's those are the number of things that we have for uh, to recognize our country. And I want each and every one of you to enjoy uh, enjoy the activities. Remember, we're restricted this year by the provincial guidelines, and we must follow them. But there are many things that you can do at home. Uh, but keep your distance, keep your group small, uh, and enjoy Canada Day to the best of your ability. Stay safe, stay healthy. Remember, if you have your vaccines, that's fantastic. If you don't have two, please do your best to get them. Thank you very much. Bye-bye.